name is Shay Bellamy and I'm an energy coach with the Community Weatherization Coalition. My name is Karen and I'm an energy coach with the Community Weatherization Coalition. Hello, I'm Chin and I am a energy coach with the Community Weatherization Coalition. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can inspect your toilets for leaks because it can cost you a lot of money and we're trying to avoid that. People often notice that their toilet is leaking when they hear a running sound after the flush shut fill is complete. This sound is made by a toilet that is filling up with too much water, causing water to flow from the toilet tank through the overflow tube and into the toilet bowl. If you hear this sound, be sure to adjust the toilet tank fill level immediately, as a constantly running fill valve is a major water waster, costing up to $45 per day. We'll show you how to fix this leak in part 2 of the series. The next type of toilet leak isn't as readily apparent, as it happens when the flapper at the bottom of the tank is either worn down or malfunctioning, causing water to quietly and slowly drip down from the bottom of the tank into the bowl. To detect the leak, we'll need to color the water using the non-toxic leak detection tablets in your kit. Simply drop one tablet into your toilet and let it dissolve. Since the packet comes with two packets, Save the second one for your second toilet or to double check a leaky toilet after making repairs. Viewers at home can use food coloring to achieve the same effect. Once you've colored the water, place a sign on the toilet and make sure that nobody uses it and let the water sit for 15 minutes. Now it's been 15 minutes and as you can see that the tablets have dissolved in the water, dyeing it blue. If a leak is present, the water in the toilet bowl will also turn blue if no one flushes the blue tank water into the toilet bowl. If you don't see any blue dye in the toilet bowl, you can rest assured that your toilet is doing a great job of retaining its water. If you detected a leak and you don't hear the toilet running, you should replace the old toilet flapper in the tank to eliminate the leak. Try to do this as soon as you can. While this type of toilet leak isn't as drastic as the first, any toilet leak leads to major water losses and expenses. Installing a new flapper will pay for itself in avoided water and wastewater costs in one to two months. The third type of leak in your toilet occurs at the base. If you notice water pooling onto the floor at the base of the toilet, try not to use the toilet until you are able to have it repaired. As this dirty water, you want to keep it from pulling up on your floor. Normally, this leak is caused by problems with the wax ring that seals the base of the toilet to the drain opening set into the floor. The toilet will have to be removed in order to replace the wax ring. In part 2 of our series, we'll show you how to fix the first type of leak we covered and ensure that your toilet is working efficiently. Hit subscribe to get notified when we post the next video and check out our website communityweatherization.org to learn more about our work.